Hello there, my name's Stephen Ritchie. I am a artist from Ashford in Kent, UK. I have been producing a number of dragons. In fact, I've got four dragons that are all about the same size. And this gives me a great advantage so I can make a number of tails and I can try out those different designs and, and styles of uh, tails to fit the dragons in question. I'm also going to use some of these dragons as models for a much bigger one. And that'll be coming up soon. I'll be inviting the uh, chap to come and have a look. I'm inviting to my studio. And I'll show you some pictures of his pad and the place that he wants it. It's for um, a 900-year-old church. I may have mentioned it in one of my previous films. By the way, thank you very much for all the people that have subscribed. I've got a good 166 subscribers, I believe, which is coming along lovely. Thank you very much for that. Keep it up. Don't forget to share and get other people to subscribe and describe and, and remind them. It doesn't cost them anything. This is just for finding me and knowing when the next film is up and running. So the claws, really important to me, this little bit. It's important because of the way they're posed. I want a claw to be digging in the wall. I want the other fingers to the claw to be looking like it's holding this thing off the wall. I just want to give a, uh, someone a little mention. I've been assisted and I've been showing a young lady how to um, um, use the studio and the film studio and do some film editing on this thing. It's Bryony. Say hello, Bryony. Hello. And uh, she's only 10 and she assisted me with doing this and the music just to teach her a few things. Anyway, so I'm liking this. You know, the whole, the, the, the claws have worked out, the legs have worked out. But for some reason, this pose isn't working out for me as well as I thought it would. I'm trying it out with the tails in different directions and swirling in on itself and back on itself. So that's helping me and it's starting to look quite good. But I don't know. There's something missing out of this. It looks like this poor thing's been splatted against the wall rather than um, it being sort of held up against the wall. I also wanted to get a bit of an angle on the spine work of it. So I could see the spine. One of the customers for these dragons has, has asked me, and I don't normally take any notice of customers when it comes to this bit, asked me to do it in a particular style. And there's a wonderful glass artist, and I forget her name right now, but she's one of the people that displays with Craft in Focus. Um, and her style of dragon, he asked whether I could do it in that sort of style. Now, I don't normally take any notice, but I happen to like that style as well, so I agreed to it. Otherwise, I'd dig my ears and say, no, no, no. It's either my style or nowhere, but I agree to it. So, not happy with the pose, even though I'm like 10 days into this thing. No, maybe less than that, sorry. Six, seven days into this thing, and I'm still not happy with it. Like the curly tail's working okay. Might curl it in on itself rather than away from the body, but yeah, this splatty thing needed to move one of the claw legs up into the body a little bit you know and um don't like going back on myself because i know it's going to take at least a full day to change that but i bit the bullet and uh, after much uh, scratching my head and i must have spent you just waste time don't you mess about scratching your head after much scratching my head that's what i come up with i think it's a much much better pose it's really working for me it's got that claw right and it might not be able to see the, the claw so well when it's on the wall don't know that's what I've done. That's what I'm working. So thank you very much for all my subscribers. Don't forget to share if you like this sort of stuff or you know people that may like this sort of stuff. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe, everybody. Be good. Say goodbye, Bryony. Bye. There you are. That's all you've got to do when you're editing a film. And um, have a nice life, everyone. Ta-ta. Be good. Bye.